Eco Congregation, I'd like to welcome you all here to Earth Hour 2019. Kate Mila Falcha Gudi Urna Kunan. 
my name is Caroline and I'm a member of the committee of Westport Eco Congregation and I'm delighted that we can all gather here tonight here in a symbolic show of solidarity for a global event for our planet. Earth Hour offers us all the opportunity to spend this focused hour with our global community taking action for climate change and the care of our common home. The encyclical by, Laudata, by Pope Francis, titled Laudata Si, Care of Our Common Home, asks us as a proposal to rediscover the way that we live together on our common home. This year, there is more of an urgency than ever to gather, unite and advocate for our planet. On Thursday night, a joint committee of our government on climate action signed off on a landmark report titled Climate Change, a cross-party consensus for action. Within this report, it states, children and future generations will be most impacted by climate change. And it is imperative that they be given the necessary education and training on climate change and its consequences both nationally and globally. It also makes reference to the impact that the Swedish schoolgirl Greta Thunberg had at the most recent UN COP20 meeting and in her action for the climate strikes a couple of weeks ago. It shows the potential power of youth in the mobilizing for change and shifting political priorities in supporting climate action. Tonight, we have our very own Greta. Amber and addressed her fellow students only two weeks ago at the International Climate Strikes event in their school in the Sacred Heart. And I have the honor to introduce Amber Sunshine Farrell to you all here tonight. Good evening, everybody. I'm so honored to have been asked to speak here today. To see everyone here united by one cause is so uplifting. It seems as though Ireland and hopefully the world is starting to get back on track. I'm now going to present to you the speech I made to my school two weeks ago with slight amendments to suit our own, uh, situation right now. So what are we all here for today? What is it really about? The point of this is to raise awareness about global warming and climate change. I realize that this is the point where people usually switch off, but it's now imperative that you tune in. Climate change and global warming are caused by us. It's all well and good to sit down and calmly discuss how terrible global warming is and how we humans have completely messed up the smooth sailing of the natural world. But then we go about our day as normal and casually throw an apple core into the recycling bin or chuck the rubbish out of the window of our car. This is what this evening is all about. We've got to start small by doing small things like using the right bins, turning the lights off, saving water, and bringing rubbish home from the beach. It's the small everyday changes that will save our planet. I for one couldn't see how I could make a change and I know a lot of you feel the same way. But now is the time to take action. This is the objective of this evening. Global warming is the most important issue our generation faces and it's easy to be beaten down and think, sure, what am I, my tiny self, going to do that will make an impact to save our planet? If everyone thought like that, no changes would be made. You yourself, as a member of this community, of this nation, and as an inhabitant of the earth, are responsible, whether you believe it or not, for the protection of our home, for the sustaining of our future. By simply bringing a reusable lunchbox to work or school is slowly saving the planet. Ireland has one of the biggest carbon footprints and I reckon it's time we change that. Who knows, maybe in a few years we can move from just focusing on where we put our rubbish to everyone driving electric cars. 
However, our little gestures can only take us so far. We are now calling on the decision makers, the governments, to make a change. It's me, my classmates and our children who will be dealing with the ramifications of our actions. I implore you all to use your vote and vote for the environment and climate action. Things need to change. Thank you. Yes, School Boric were also part of the climate strikes as well. So a magical night makes me think of the proverb, it is better to light a candle than to curse the darkness. And as we are aiming to honour the darkness tonight, I want to say as I walked around town the last couple of days, popping into all the different businesses and all the different the posts and different things we did, Facebook and Twitter are alive of, of this in the last couple of hours. So I want to thank those people who may not be standing here tonight with us but are supporting us in our community. Tonight, the main aim of the fun is for tea and tunes by Tea Light until half nine. We're honoured to have Leafy Greens and Christie's Harvest partake in this, and our many, many fabulous local musicians will be there to entertain us. I have a few short thank yous to my committee in the West Fort Eco congregation, to the students of St. Maria Lewisburg for our fabulous clock that we were able to get out again this year, to Frank, our photographer, to the staff of Mayo County Council, Simon Wall and David Scully for their work to power down the areas in town that they could, to Reverend, Char to Reverend Fall and Father Charlie for the continuous support for our work in eco-congregation. To you, to each and every one of you, please go tell five or ten more people. Please take this message further. This is the time that we have now to make the changes for the young people here around us. And if you can, raise a big applause to Amber. Thank you so much. <laughs> And we'll leave you off with Alicia now yeah. to carry this well. For every no hugging.
Ja, det är